Hey there Pathless Peddlers, today we've got an awesome exclusive video for you guys. It's going to be a first look at the Rollin Ulf. So let's take it for a spin. Woohoo! So we're riding here in Forest Park with a group of folks. And if you're not from Portland, you know, this is where rides on dirt happen on new adventure bikes. One of the first things you notice is how lively and sprightly it feels. I think that's probably a function of the shorter wheelbase, maybe the lighter tubing, just to keep the bike uh, lively. So definitely a surprise. Another big surprise is how the steering handles, especially with this big uh, Swift Industries bag, I've got a bunch of camera gear in it. And because of the low trail fork geometry, the front end's not flopping around. Definitely less input to kind of correct the steering. It's super cool. With the 650B plus tires, you can just kind of fly over most of the stuff that I'd be picking around on the Warbird or the Via. So we're gonna switch things up. Now it's Laura's turn. And at the end, we're gonna give you uh, our individual ride impressions of the bike. Have fun. Uh-huh. Bye. Well, my first impression was that it was not at all what I was expecting. When we first hit the dirt and gravel, it took my brain a few seconds to work out what the heck was going on. Road position, but easily bounding over everything. This is the first time I've ridden with this kind of a boxy rando bag. And there's a noticeable difference um, in the ride quality. You get on this and it's noticeably less floppy. <laughs> ridiculously stable. It's very comfortable. The biggest difference for me is most of the time when we come up and we ride through Forest Park, I feel like you have to pick a line and this just felt very much like I could, I just sort of like tumble over stuff. My focus didn't have to be on the road so much. I could just sort of be looking around. Comfortable, that's my word of choice. <laughs> so we've been riding through Forest Park with the Rollin Ulf for the last couple hours, uh, taking it through its paces. I'm gonna point out a couple things on the frame. First off, let's look at the rear end, the rear end geometry, fairly short and tight and what that does is that uh, lends itself to a really snappy lively feeling when you pedal you know looking at the bike as a whole it looks really uh, tank like and chunky but you know if you crank on the pedals if you're standing and climbing it actually responds really really well it's got uh, eyelets for a rear rack so if you want to put a rear rack on this bike uh, you can definitely do it one thing to note is that it's set up one by and it's got no kind of mounts for a front derailleur and you could potentially bodge one on but keep that in mind. If you if you do want to run the double, it's gonna take a little bit of work. There's all sorts of mounts. Mounts for every kind of bag you want to put on here. Uh, they've got the three bolt mount meant for anything cages. And one thing that they did was uh, most forks will have the, the mounts here, which kind of tends to put the load a little bit more forward in the front wheel. So they tilted, they moved it back with the idea that you want the load a little bit uh, closer to the rear of the front wheel. It also has an eyelet down here and an eyelet over here so you can run a tubeless lowrider and they also have mid fork eyelets so you can run rando uh, racks or their own uh, demi porteur which is what this is. Fork geometry is a load trail geometry and how that translates in riding is you can have a load up on the front and you're not getting any wheel flop which is pretty cool. So let's talk a little bit about the tires. These are the Panaracer uh, Fat B Nimbles. They're 27.5 by three and a half inches. So they're really wide, lots of flotation, lots of grip on the soft stuff. Uh, you know, going down really rocky terrain, you can kind of let the bike go because uh, the tires are gonna act as a suspension. You've got two sets of uh, bolts for, for water bottles. And there's a third one down here. So you can put another water ball down here or a little gear storage. And one awesome thing, as a shorter rider riding, you know, mountain bikes or, or plus size bikes, is there's always an issue of toe overlap. They've designed the bike, so even at its small size, this is the smallest size, by the way, the 54, uh, you can ride and there's no toe overlap, which is amazing for, for technical riding and um, Something you don't see very often uh, in frames for, for shorter riders. So this is a bike that we've been really waiting for to come out for a long time. Something that combines all the elements we like about rendering bikes but gives it more capable off-road uh, features. And I think this, this bike really hits the nail on the head. You know, we've only, we're only getting a chance to ride for a couple hours and not fully loaded so we can't give you a full comprehensive review. But just with this first look, uh, you yeah, know, this bike is super fun to ride. So that's it for this exclusive look at the Rollin Ulf. Uh, if you guys have any specific questions, uh, leave those in the comments below or email us and we'll try to answer those. Um, if you guys like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up 
And if you want more videos around bike touring, gravel riding, and all this other kind of bike nerdery, nerdery don't forget to subscribe. And thanks for watching. <laughs>